Today I'm going to discuss a kinetics and equilibrium problem using heads and coins with heads and tails flipping back and forth. And uh, this is the equilibrium that we're talking about. And we're doing an analogy using coins to illustrate a chemical reaction. I have a, an array of coins. Some are heads and some are tails. And I can vary that <coughs> starting point. The rate at which coins that are heads turn to tails is equal to Kf times the number of heads. The rate at which tails turn to heads is equal to Kr times tails. So in every second, let's say some coins are flipping, some aren't. Um, let's suppose that initially 1% of the coins that are heads flip the tails, so Kf is 0.01, and 1% of the tails, coins that are tails flip the heads, so Kr is 0.01. The change in the concentration or the change in the number of heads per second will equal minus Kf times the heads, the number of heads, and that's the number of heads that flip to tails, so that decreases the number of heads, plus Kr times the number of tails. That's the number of tails that flip to heads, so that increases the number of heads. In a similar way, the change in the number of tails per second, per unit time, my unit time will be one second, will equal the number of heads that flip the tails, and that's positive because you're increasing the number of tails because heads flip the tails, minus Kr times the number of tails, that's the number of tails that flip the heads, and that's negative because you're decreasing the number of tails. I'm going to bring the delta t to the other side, and that's going to be one second. My, my time interval is one second. So the change in the number of heads each second will be minus Kf times the number of heads plus Kr times the number of tails. So this is the number of heads that flipped to tails, and that's negative because it's decreasing the number of heads. This is the number of tails that flipped to heads, and that increases the number of heads. In a similar way, the change in the number of tails will equal Kf times the head number minus Kr times the tail number. So we have heads that flip the tails, which increases the number of tails, and tails that flip the heads that increases the number of tails. Now let's program. It's very simple to program. After the end of the first second, the number of heads will equal what it was initially minus the rate constant for heads flipping the tails, and I'm going to make that constant, that location constant, times the number of heads. So that's that first term there. Plus the number of t uh, rate constant for the reverse flip times the number of tails. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the tails. The number of tails after the first second would be equal to what it was initially plus the rate constant for heads flipping to tails, make that definite, times the number of heads minus the rate constant for tails flipping to heads, a reverse process. Again, make that definite, times the number of tails. Okay, so that's the change after one second. Now let's copy this formula down. We're going to go to 288 seconds. And <clears throat> let's look at a graph of what happens. I, I've already made the graph. Now again, we're, we're starting... We're starting with 5,000 heads and no tails. And the blue line is the heads. The, the number of heads decreases with time. The number of tails increases with time. But eventually, we get an equal number of heads and tails because the rate constants for each are the same. At a point of 2,500, 
the number of heads each second that are flipping the tails is equal to the number of tails that are flipping the heads. The two rates are equal, and so we get an equilibrium situation. The equilibrium constant, which is the ratio of heads to tails, or tails to heads, is 1. Actually, the equilibrium constant is the ratio of, uh, of, of tails to heads. Let's just change the situation a little bit. Instead of starting with uh, 500 heads, let's start with uh, 5,000 heads. Let's start with 4,000 heads and 1,000. I'm going to keep my total at, at, at 5,000. Well, now uh, we're starting with lower heads and more tails, but we end up with the same equilibrium situation. And now let's make it um, 3,000 and 2,000. It's nice you can play these little games. And again, and of course, if we made it to 2,500 and 2,500, it's already at equilibrium. Now let's switch it so that uh, the tails is 5,000 and the heads is zero. And now the tails start out of 5,000, the heads at zero, but we end up at an equal number of heads and tails. All right, let's go back to uh, where we were originally. And let's make the rate constant for the forward reaction. Let's say we have coins that, uh, for some reason, um, <clears throat> don't flip at equal rates. Let's say that this, uh, the, the rate at which heads go to tails is twice as large as the rate at which tails go to heads. So 2% of the coins that are heads flip the tails each second, but only 1% of the tails, the coins which are tails, flip the heads. And now we're going to see that uh, we don't end up with uh, an equal number of heads and tails. In fact, we have um, we actually have twice as many tails as heads because coins are flipping from heads to tails twice as often as coins are flipped from, from tails to heads. Uh, another um, game you could play is what happens if you change, you keep the, mag the, the ratio the same, but you change the magnitude of the rate constant. Instead of making it 0 0.02 and 0 0.01, let's make it 0 0.06 and 0 0.03. Now we want to look at how this curvature changes, 0 0.06 and 0 0.03. So they're in a two to one ratio. And you can see it comes to equilibrium much quicker. And now let's make it slower 0.006 and 0.003. And you could say it's not even at equilibrium by uh, 288 seconds. All right. I guess I should uh, change my. Uh, let's see. Oops, going the wrong way. Okay. So let's go back um, 0 0.01 and 0 0.01. Okay. Okay. Well, you can uh, you can do various things with this. I think it's instructive to un for an understanding of equilibrium. And uh, in a later podcast, I'll do it in terms of molarity instead of coins. But uh, there are many one-to-one -one type reactions. Uh, Cis-trans isomerizations come to mind. Uh, but there are many other types where you have a one-to-one -one <coughs> reaction and the chemical equilibrium associated with it. So I hope you understand how you can use Excel to do simulations. I think it's a very... Um, useful device and I've learned a lot about uh, different scientific processes using Excel. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you next time.